I am nagging. Yes, you are. Other women come back home to share their work experiences with their husband. But what do you do? You come back home to fight. That's all you do. Fight, fight, fight. Can you do something else? Would you? Nagging. Yes. You nag a lot and it's becoming unbearable. Ha! I started suspecting them at that point. So, I decided to keep an eye on them. And did you start giving your husband time after you suspected that? I was naive. As a matter of fact, I got promoted at work. I started earning so much money and so many other allowances. But my husband never stopped cheating with that girl. If you were to be sincere to you, the fault is not from your husband. You chose your work and left your home for another to manage. Your husband needed pleasure and he bounced on the available girl that was around. That's what happened. He created a lacuna. He cashed in on it. I was naive. I was busy chasing after money. Thinking that having lots of it will make me fulfilled. But no. I was wrong. Now I understand why wise men say that family is everything. Yeah. So did your husband chase you away to marry the maid? No. He did not. I, I caught them. What is red handed? Anguli, you mean you kept on sleeping with the man? What did you expect me to do? What was I supposed to do? We were always together. She was never around. And the kids were still too young to even understand what was happening. What would I have done? Hey! That means your husband is wayward. That is the exact reason I have been trying to curb his excesses. Because I know that if he's given the chance, he would misbehave again. Hey, but people mistake me for being too overprotective. Wait. But did it occur to you you stole another woman's husband? Stole? Yes. Chima, did I hear you say stole? Of course. I did not. You did. No, you did. She walked out on her marriage. She said she wasn't interested anymore. What was I supposed to do? Say no? I... Well, honestly, I don't understand you. I don't. You think this world is like this? There is more to it. Angoleka. 
You have fulfilled your mission in my house. So you can go. I'm pregnant. What? What did you say? I'm pregnant. And who is responsible? Moga. Moga is responsible. Tell me. She's. It's not true. What is she saying? Asubika, talk. What is she saying? You caused it. It was your fault. If she's truly pregnant, then you caused it. Listen, you don't let me. You don't give me attention. I told you I don't want a maid. But you never listened. You come back from work, you don't let me touch you. You see me... You, you, you think I'm a log of wood? Is that what you think? Come on now. Listen, I, I don't regret anything that happened. Masubike. Are you really saying all these things to me? Is this how you pay me back? After all I have done for you? I know how much I have put into your business to make sure it's moving. And this is all I get. Listen, I'm not even going to take that. When I married you, I married you as a wife. I didn't marry you as a business partner. Okay? Listen to me. In marriage, there's something called conjugal duties. A husband and his wife must have sex. That's the union they share to make their marriage last longer. But you don't have time for me. I want to touch you. You say no. You come back from work. You take off your clothes. I want to touch you. You say no. You tell me you're tired. Eh? And you, why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? Why did you not tell me you were pregnant? I was afraid. I, I, afraid of what? Are you not supposed to tell me first? I only found out yesterday. You only found out yesterday? Yes. Eh? So, so you, you, you want to put me into trouble? Eh? You want to put me into trouble? What is her? Eh? Are you not supposed to tell me you were pregnant? Okay, I said I just found out. I just found out. Oh, From women they get wild out. They will choose their career over their husband's show and hand over the home to their housemates and hand over Oga to their housemates. Some housemates they like a better thing you know. Before you know it, they will take over the home. Take over all God, begin service of oh God. Babe, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. It is the devil's work. S something just entered my body and I just started acting stupid. But, but. You're sorry, right? Yes. You are sorry. I'm very sorry, baby. What are you sorry about? For everything. I'm, I'm sorry about everything. For you cheating on me? Or are you sleeping with my maid? On our matrimonial bed? Or are you getting her pregnant? What exactly are you sorry about? Baby, I swear, it's not me. It was the devil that entered my body. The, the, the devil used my body to commit, you know... You don't what? Adultery. Maybe I do. No, you don't. 
Baby, I do. That is why you always nag about everything I do. But it's fine. Baby, wait. I, Baby. I think I'll leave you. So Baby, please. You can just leave it the hasn't, that suit you. It hasn't gotten to that, baby. Stop calling me baby! Stop it! Baby, it was the devil that entered my body. Stop it! Baby, baby. Ba baby, baby, wait now. It's the devil. Please. Please now. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Uju, 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 it will never be well with you. You will know no peace huh. for doing this to me. Huh. Baby, 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 wait. Baby, listen to me. Don't go. I, I apologize for everything. It was a devil. The devil entered my body. Can you not touch no, me? Don't, don't to touch me. me. It's not, it's not me. <laughs> baby, please, don't go. Don't, don't, don't leave the kids and I, please. Please. B baby, please. It was the devil that entered my body. It, it, it wasn't, you know I'll never do this to you. I don't know what came over me. The devil entered my body. And I, I, I am going to my children's school. Because I can't leave my children for this beast. She will kill them. Babe. You have always said you don't see me as your wife. I guess you now see my maid as your wife, so... Come on now, don't say that now. You two can continue. Baby, no. Baby, listen to but me. you. Except I got him from another woman. Baby, 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 wait, baby, wait. Succeeded in ruining my family. I'm talking to you! Ha! Okay, what is it now? You want to beat me? Oh, now you are blaming me! No, you want to blame me! You've forgotten the time that you were begging me. Come on, Daddy Duvi. You shift my pants to one side. You were begging me. Open your leg. Now you are blaming me. Or you want me to go outside and tell people how you raped me? Or you want me to tell them how you begged me not to say anything to anybody? But you came back and you seduced me into having sex with you. Hey, boy. Yes! Small boy! If I tell you to come and suck breast, you come and suck breast. If I tell you to jump into fire, you jump into fire. Don't just, don't, don't do this, oh. Don't do this, else I will just go to the right authorities and report to them that you raped me in this house. Now listen to me. You better be careful. Don't do more damage. Don't make this more difficult than it is. I Please. I should not. Don't make this difficult for me to face. But you are the one that led me into it. Your wife was standing here. You are saying devil that entered you. So me, I'm the one that is the devil now. No, I'm the one that is the devil. I'm the devil that entered this. You side. chased my wife away. You're happy. Who chased her away? You. Who chased her away? You. Okay, you were the one that was begging me. You were the one begging me, okay? I'm a married man. I am a married man. Uh, but when you were shouting upstairs, oh, bugomo, oh, bugomo, you didn't know you were married. Okay, please just allow me to enjoy this film I'm watching now. Let me go and pack my bags and put it inside that. You, you, you women, you know what you're doing. Ah, uh -uh. Yes, you women, you know what you're doing. Okay, what did I do now? You women, you know what you're doing. Look at what you're carrying. Ha. Ha, have you seen what you're carrying around? Oh, God, you have said it now. I know you love me the way I love you. Yes, I Come on, leave me alone. At this point, I was already in love with him. You know, sometimes I would be so happy seeing them having issues. This is so evil. You put asunder in what God joined together. Chinwe, I wasn't mature then. I was acting 
with a child's mind. So now, are you saying you regret your actions? Having Azubike in my life, I would say I do not regret. He changed me. He changed my whole family. But causing the separation, that I regret. That is why I have done everything possible to keep my husband. To make sure he stays with me forever. Hmm. If I was that woman, I will never leave my home. I will make sure you go back to where you came from. Chimi, are you angry with me now? Of course I'm angry with you. Who wouldn't be angry with you? Did you listen to yourself? Eh? You broke another woman's home. And you took her husband. And you're saying I should be happy with you. I will never be happy with you. I pity that woman. I just pity her. Who knows what she's going through at the moment? But, hmm, she didn't act well. Though. She didn't act like a woman at all. She knew I was going to leave. I really did want to leave. You know, somehow I felt she was going to come back to fight for her home. But she never did. Hmm. And in my head, I thought she, she wanted out of the marriage from the onset. For a woman in that position to leave her family like that. I wouldn't do it. Would you, would you please, please listen to me? Would you please? You, listen, you can you stop? You, you can't remember how we started. You can't you can't leave me like this. I can't leave you, right? Yes. Why are you embarrassing me on the road? Why are you making it look as if I'm the bad one here? Babe, listen to me. The devil is trying to separate us. Can't you see this? Can't you see? <laughs> Azubike, I'm sorry. You cannot deceive me this time. Please, just stay away from me. I, 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 oh, I, me. I promise never to make this mistake again. Oh, please. <laughs> Azubike. Please. You were sleeping with her for only God knows how long. You got her pregnant. Azubike, I, I'm very sure you're still sleeping with her. Wait, who do you think I am? A fool? <laughs> Azubike. Let this be the last time you stop me to, to tell me rubbish. Please. It's obvious we can no longer stay as husband and wife in the same house. So please, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. No Jupiter will make me go back to that house. For him... Would you please? Mama, for him to sleep with my maid on my matrimonial home and even got her pregnant. Do you even know what that means? It's a slap on my face. It's over between us. Don't make your decision that rigid because you don't know how deep the future can be. <laughs> please. Mama. No matter how deep that future is, I am not ready to be in it with someone this careless and, uh, and callous. I have been enduring him all this while, but not anymore. Not anymore. I actually thought he's my class, but no. I stood so low as to, as to marry him. What did I get? What? He did not even see anything good in me. Mama, please. Thank God he has found his match. So let him, let him just go. Let him go. I can feel the bitterness in your heart. Please. Calm down. I can feel the bitterness in your heart, my dear. But just pray you don't wake up to life when there's no longer anything to fix up. Please. I don't at all encourage cheating you know that but divorce cannot bring you joy my daughter please i beg of you mama 
It's my sanity we are talking about here. And I know you're talking like this because it's your son. But I I'm sorry. I can't live with a cheating man. I can't. Obianuju. You know I love you so much. Ever since you were married into this family, I've always taken and seen you as my own blood daughter. I can tell you nothing but the truth. Divorce cannot bring you joy. I don't support it at all. I only support it when it becomes a threat to life in any marriage. But it cannot bring you happiness. So please, I beg of you, reconsider. Oh, please. Oh. Mama. Mama. I have made up my mind. And I can't go back on that decision. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Mama, it's enough. You have done well. The Uju I know can be very difficult when it comes to her decisions. Thank God you already know that. However, it's okay. Let her go. But I want my kids. I paid your bride price, so I have every right to take my kids. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm also telling you, I cannot leave my children in the hands of a foolish man like you. I'm giving you until weekend. Or to be kind enough, let me just say, next weekend, to bring my kids. Else, you would see that foolish man in me. Do your worst. Do your worst. Come on. Be outside. I'm happy with that. I am going to my father's house. I have a home. And I have a family. And what about my child? It's my body and can handle it. <sighs> Listen, I understand how you feel. But please, don't go. I, I don't want to stay alone. I'll be lonely if you leave me. For the sake of the child, just stay, please. Please. Huh? What if Madame comes back? Eh, don't worry about that. I, I can handle it. We have to take your, your things back to the room. Listen, can I come and see your people? Huh? Talk to me now. Can I come and see your people? I'll think about it. Did you say I should go to you? Yes, let me help you. Let's go back to my room. So it will now become our room. Don't you like that? Carry the bag. Please carry it, small, small. Let me back back here now. Then he came to see my family. That was how he came to pay my bride price. And then I started bearing him children, which made me really allergic to seeing any woman in my house or even close to my house. This is heavy. But you can't keep judging him for the mistakes he made in the past. Do you think so? Yes. I know my husband. He would never change. That was the same mistake Opianichu made. She was careless. I wouldn't do the same. 
I would fight to keep my husband. A man who can kiss a woman as old as my mother? Change? Hmm. I have assessed your husband. I know he might be a womanizer, but don't you think you're doing the same thing Obianuju did? You're making the same mistake. What do you mean? Yes. You're always nagging. You're not there. You don't take care of your home. You don't take care of your children. You're always here and here. Business, this, she that. Do I really do all these things you just listed? Yes. This is exactly what your husband complained to me. You don't have time for him. You even deny him the pleasure in bed. Jimmy. This business is very important to me. It's been my source of income. I mean, it's not even proper for me to ask my husband for money all the time. I take care of myself. And I extend it to my family as well. But what would you have me do? Amoli. I understand. I understand everything you just said. But your family, your husband, your children, they should come first. Before your own family. These people need you. They need you. Your children need you. Your husband needs you. Please. I know you need money to do all these things. All these people should be your priority. Don't you think so? I don't just want to lose my husband. I don't want to lose him. It's alright. That was the biggest mistake of my life. I regret not heeding to the advice of Azubike and his mother. I actually thought I would find more happiness and joy as I left. You see, if he truly loves you, he will do everything possible to get you back. I'm sure he would have done that. But Anguli's pregnancy got his mind divided. I'm very sure if not for her, he would have done everything to get me back. I can't. And I won't stop blaming myself. I smell... I smell love. You sound as if you... You're still loving. I no longer love him. It's just that I still recount my mistakes till date. And I blame myself for everything. <sighs> Many years after I left and I went back home, I started making money. As a young woman, I made money. After making so much money, I then realized that my happiness and joy cannot be complete without a man by my side. And then, I started looking for a younger man who would be loyal to me. He was my high school sweetheart. I thought going back to him would make everything okay for me. But... Oh, 
Like they say, how you make your bed is how you lie on it. What you sow is what you reap. That's exactly what is happening to me. I am responsible for what is happening to me. I was looking out for myself, try to please myself. Now I realize that there's no gain in causing all this pain. Oh, what a shame. Oh, now I have myself to blame because all my efforts have been in vain. Now I feel, I feel so much pain. Oh, so much shame. Oh, lay him there on Wemo. Lay him there on Wemo. See what I've done to myself. Lay him there on Wemo. Lay him there on Wemo. Lay him there on Wemo. See what I've done to myself. Lay him there on Wemo. Before you do anything in life, che che che. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank. Please come in, come in, come in, come in. Oh my Here we are. Lord. Wow. You live here alone? Oh yes. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? This is now your new home. Oh, thank Have you. <sighs> I can't believe you still remember me after amassing such a huge wealth. But I told you I was never going to forget you. But you did. You married someone else. That... He deceived me. He promised me heaven on earth and I fell for it. I made all this wealth through the connections and influences I got from him. After which I realized um, he never really loved me. So I, I had to leave. Do you know I cried when I heard you married another person? Mm. I nearly committed suicide. Thank goodness you didn't. I'm so sorry I put you through that. Okay? Okay. But do you really want to hear the truth? Yes, of course. I left him because of you. Really? Yes, because I couldn't just get you off my mind. I still love you and I love you so much. And I still love you too, baby. I'll never stop loving you. Hmm. Yes. Oh, baby! Honey, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. Welcome, babe. How are you? I'm fine. I can see you're fine. What are you watching? A movie. Oh. Ah, sit down. Ah. So how have you been? I've been fine. Keeping myself busy. I can see that. I bought this for you. Here. What is it this time? You know you're full of surprises. I know. Just go through them. I hope you like them. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love them. Really? Yes. Great. <laughs> I love them. Look at this one. <laughs> they're nice. Thank you so much, guys. Thank ah, you. You're mm. welcome. <laughs> Mm. Ah, you're welcome. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> Have you had something to eat? Not really, not really. Okay, let me go in and make something, okay? Okay, then. Right. thank you. Oh, I love <laughs> them. Hey, you come in and try them. Let me know if it fits. Bring them, let's go. <laughs> <let's laughs> yeah. Oops. Okay. Okay. I play. Oh, 
Hey, baby, you just buttered my bread. <laughs> Last card and check up. Jeez, how come? How come what? Look at it now, I won. It's so clear. Look at you it. You cheated. I cheated, how? No, now. See, 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 see. I won. <laughs> I told you I was going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> come on, let's okay. play it again. Okay, you let's know? play this time I'm going to be very merciful. I'll allow you win. So share it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I bet you I'll win this time around. You. Okay. Let's see. It's not by the. <laughs> Last card and check up. <laughs> Babe. I won, baby. Can't you see? I won. You cheated I, again. You I, I did not it. cheat. No, look at it. I did not cheat. I won. I won. Okay, fine. You, you won here. Fine. Okay. What, what, what now? No, this. come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My phone is ringing. Wait, this. My phone is ringing. Uh huh. Hello. Oh yes. Okay, no, tell them to wait. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, I'm coming. I'm coming right away. Y yes, yes. All right, thank you. Bye. Honey, I, I have to run along now. My business partners are waiting for me. No, not now, baby. Tell them to come another day. Eh? Tell them to come another day? Yes. No, no. You know how the market is now. The competition out there is stiff. Eh? If I'm too busy to go and give them my products, they will go to another place. Eh? You know how it is now, and we need the money. So let me go. I'll yes. see you, okay? All right, thanks. I'll see you. Mm. I'll see you. All right, babe. Uh. Okay. So I hope you like this place. Yeah, I love it. Okay, it's nice. It. <laughs> it's nice. I love it. Yeah. Please come in out here often. Be nice for me. Oh. So this place is not like your usual. Village sit out, right? No, drink Pami and the. I know, Pami and Kobe. Yeah, yeah, it's okay for us. Namdi, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, excuse me, my phone. Hello? You mean the containers are here? No, 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 no. Don't open it. Just wait until I get there. I said, don't open it. Is it that you did not hear what I said? Okay, thank you. I, mean, I have to leave now. Not, not this time again, no. What do you mean by not this time? You're I'll trying to you. ruin I'll this moment. You. Every time she's running out. You slept there? Oh, I'm tired. I had to stay back to ensure my goods are safe. You know, so I couldn't I couldn't come back. Your ditches are many. You're always on the go. I I don't understand. I mean, where, where is that coming from? Do you know what it takes for me to amass the kind of wealth I have now? In case you don't know. I will tell you, it takes hard work and dedication. After all, I, I, I should be the one complaining here because you are always home doing nothing. Eh? Watching TV. I mean, who does that? This is early in the morning and you're already here watching TV. Please, please don't even go there. Don't even go there. Ah. My father told me this. What did your father tell you? Never mind, you understand. But I think I need to go back to the village. My goats and my fan lands are calling me. How do you mean go back to the village? What, what's the meaning of that? Do you understand? Just look at this one. Somebody I brought up from the village just to help his ministry. I think I think I heard, I heard that. Thank you. Eh? I, won't, I wasn't referring to you. Whatever, please. Do you know I thought he was joking? <laughs> I 
went out that day, and by the time I returned, he had left the house. I, I called him to know where he was, you know. He told me he had gone back to the village. <coughs> that is not even the main thing here. Do you know, the surprising thing is that he did not live with anything I bought for him. Strange. But did you find out why he left? Oh, yes, I did. He said I was maltreating him. That I was treating him as if he was poor. But I, I can't even remember doing that. But with the wealth you showered on him, that should have calmed him down. And if truly he loves you, he wouldn't have backed out so easily. That wasn't the case here. Do you know, I even went to the village to see him. He said it's better for him to stay back in the village and be with someone who will see value in him than return with me to the city where he gets love as if he's getting help. I, I, I couldn't understand it. A wise decision if you ask me. That man is a wise man with a lot of brain. Exactly the same thing my mother said. When I told her everything he said. I, I even went back to the village and I, I pleaded with him to come back with me to the city. But no, he insisted he's not coming back. I wonder why he thought I would come back to the village to stay with him. Oh, not to do, not in his wildest dream. No. So, how did you meet my friend, Justin? That? That was the day I got the biggest embarrassment of my life. Mm -hmm. I must confess, you're the most beautiful angel I have come across. Oh, please, can you stop? Come on, <laughs> take a look at the hair. Oh, what? I love the hair. I can see so sweet. Thank you. And Thank the earrings. You. Come on, baby. What is it? Too much. A rumor. Is this not the girl? No, is this not the girl? Deny it! Tony, deny it! I don't understand, honey. Who, who is this idiot? And uh, what is she talking about? Uh, uh, How dare you call me idiot? You husband snatcher! Uh, Tony, say something. What is she, what uh, did she say? I, 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 I what? Uh, hey, you have entered my trouble. Eh? It's the whole husband and fat man in the whole white world. Eh? It is my own husband. You chose to cheat me. No, he didn't. Stop, 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 stop. He did not tell me. Do so I really tell me anything? Um, okay. so, he did not tell me. married. He does not tell me. Oh, stop this. 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 Oh, let me let me deal with this idiot. Just call him dirty. Listen, 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 listen. Thanks so much for your assistance. I mean, you are one of a kind. Oh, come on. You're always welcome. Yeah, I just want to know how you're doing. I... After seeing what you went through, I think you deserve someone better. I have not really been lucky with men. I loved Tony with all my heart, but look, you saw everything that happened. Now 
now I have lost faith in men. No, don't. Don't, okay? There are still few good ones out there. I don't think so. Because you have no idea what I've gone through in the hands of men. The truth is, I, I meet men almost on a daily basis, but they all end up treating me badly. So, I don't think there is anyone out there for me. Oh, no, see, you've not met someone like me. I might not be a saint, but trust me, I can't be found amongst such men that you've met. Okay? It's alright. Don't share those tears. Give me the smiles. Come on. It's not part of it, okay? You all is gonna be fine. Just cheer up, okay? Come on, just take a chip. So, he kept coming around. He kept showing me that he cares. Without even knowing that I was rich. He kept showing me he loves me. But by that time, I was no longer interested in men. Guilt will not let me. Guilt? Why feeling guilt at that point? I mean, you had liberty to do anything you wanted to do. You won't understand. I, I left my husband because I caught him with another woman. I slept with different men that I even lost count. Wow. That is even worse than the one person I, I, I saw my husband with. Wow. This is deep. Very deep. I how do wish couples would, would pitch tent with what you're saying now. Okay. Think about it this way. After I left my husband, I was sleeping with different men. And these men were still living with their wives. And they were also cheating on someone. And most of them had numerous girlfriends. So there is no tendency that you can find a man who will stick to you after you've left your husband's house. That is very, very deep. I mean, very deep. But are you in any way implying that uh, it is wrong for someone to divorce his spouse because they cheated? Uh, no, not at all. That is not what I'm saying. Except, if you divorce him or her, and you don't meet any other person until you get married again. But... If you divorce someone and you still go ahead to be sleeping with other people's husbands, wives, girlfriends, or even their boyfriends, what's the point? It's better for you to remain in that marriage and get it sorted. Because what's the essence of leaving a cheat for another cheat? Or you become a cheat yourself? So just, just look at it. You sound like a motivational speaker here. Wow. Now I see why you still love him irrespective of his infidelity. Ben. The truth is that at this point in my life, I just need a man. See, I, I have so much love bottled inside me. I, I just need someone I could, I could express it with. I, I just need somebody I could pour this love on. 
Please help me talk to my husband. I will talk to your husband. I will. And I know he will have everything. Amalika, you are using my past against me. Do you, know, do you know how much I sacrificed for you? If I had wanted my ex-wife back, I would have asked her to come back. But I didn't send you away because I knew you were pregnant for me. Thank you. Thank you for not sending me away. Thank you for not sending me away, Azubike. But you listen to me. If you think I am going to close my eyes to this ungodly movement of yours, then you are in for a joke. You are a joker. What the hell do you think you are? You want to destroy my life? What do you want me to do? Of all people, my own mother. Don't touch me. Angelica, you're so unbelievable. If I wanted to flirt around, do you think you could have stopped me? Or do you think I can stop myself? Listen to me. I never liked maids. Because I feel like some of them have bad influence on children. But I allowed you to stay because I wanted to honor my wife. I never knew things would turn out to be like this. Please. Eh? I don't want you to regret anything. I beg you in the name of God. Remember, everything happens for a good reason. Why won't I regret? Everything my ex-wife did to me is the same thing Angulika is doing to me. There's no difference. Henceforth, I'm tired. I want to focus on me and me alone. No, please. Eh? I'm begging you. It be name Dinani. Please. We, we can find a solution to this. Eh? How do we solve this mess? Be gone, no, no. Listen, I've tried my best to make this work. I've tried to make her change, but she has refused to do so. Right now, I want to focus on me and me alone. I don't care where she goes. I don't care what she does. I want to focus on me. What's the big thing? can you hear my husband? Can you hear what my husband is saying? Did you hear him? Yes, I heard him. Eh? Anguli, this is the same thing I've been telling you about. You have to calm down. You have to take it easy. Do you want to lose your home? Eh? Huh? What do we do? I'm only Biko. Please. Just take it easy. Eh? <sighs> wait, wait. Is she mad? Eh? How could she think a thing like that? But I told you this. Yes. I told you, but you won't believe me. Angurika has gone crazy. Her level of insensitivity is just second to none. I can't believe this. I will not forgive her for even thinking that I could have anything to do with her husband, my son-in-law. Ogon Kim. See, see, see. The thought of it alone is abomination. Oh, I will get to the root of this. But Papa, on a second thought, I think she's having an emotional problem. What she needs is help. Oh. Urgent one. What kind of help? What kind of emotional problems? Eh? If she like, let her be mad roaming the streets. Yeah, I don't care. Huh? Eh? All I know is that I cannot and they can never forgive her. I will not forgive her for laying such a huge accusation against me. Mwa Nea. Hey! Uh, mm -hmm. I will make some inquiries mm -hmm. before I will conclude on what to do. Because I got my banquet. Huh? 
Azindadia wano kadimu mma. Alo mbe. Azubike, don't tell me you are still like this. Eh? Do you want to develop a high blood pressure because of a woman? Emeka, Angulika is trying to destroy my life. She has proven to me that she's worse than my first wife. Would you? See, comparison will not bring any solution to this. Just keep, keep Angulika. Be, keep. Emeka, I don't care about solutions anymore. I just want to move on with my life and focus on what comes next. See, Azubike, you know that won't be easy for you. I mean, this fire has been open here for the past two hours. And you are not doing anything. Eh? It's obvious you can't get over this until you fix it. But that's the point. Emeka, how do I fix things? When she accused me of having an affair with the mother. Jesus Christ! Why would she conceive such thought in her head? No, 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 I disagree with you. Okay, so an insect flew into her mother's eyes. I tried to help her. Suddenly, Angulika walks in, saw us in a compromising position. She began to scream, hey. calling on the neighbors, telling them that I'm having something sexual to do with the mother. Jesus Christ! This is serious. Listen, if I divorce her right now, people would call me a bad person. And they would say, I, I'm not good enough to keep a woman or to keep a wife. See, don't make your decision based on what people will say. You need to put yourself together first before making any decision. Hmm? We need a lasting solution to this problem. Now, I mean now. America, at this point, I don't care about making any decisions. I just want to focus on my life and what comes after. What is wrong with this old time? Huh? You didn't know? No, madam, you're a very heartless person. You see a pregnant woman like me, and you're talking to me like this, I should go out and suffer alone? No, it will not happen. We are suffering. In fact, I don't even have time. You call me heartless in my You're heartless. Way. I am heartless. Hey, 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 hey,